Yesterday's bank robbers are gone. The most recent report on data breaches covers more than 64,000 incidents and 1,368 of those breaches occurred in the financial industry. Motives for the majority of data breaches are financial, making banks more of a target than ever before. In fact, 89% of security breaches were found to be motivated by greed rather than grudges. And because of that, banks are getting hit the hardest. Today's greatest threats no longer involve penetrating firewalls and cracking servers to surf the data and find account details and credit card numbers. It's now become a simple inside job, initiated accidentally and unwittingly by one of the employees. All it takes is a single click and a harmless looking email for the criminal to lock down and encrypt everything on the network, unleashing a series of events that will cost serious cash to minimize damage while jeopardizing the reputation of the entire bank and the bankers. There's much more at risk than dollars in data loss in this form of extortion. Loss of operations, panic among employees, and catastrophic damage to the brand, as well as the careers of the leadership at the bank, and that's all part of the pain inflicted with one errant click in an email. The starting point for a security breach typically involves something called phishing, the sending of emails with malicious attachments or links that allow malware to be downloaded to the user's computer. Research shows that 13% of people click on a phishing attachment, and the median time for someone to open a malicious email is just a minute and 40 seconds after it's been received. And that's not the only problem when it comes to speed. Hackers are getting faster at breaking in and companies are slower to respond. The time it takes hackers to break in keeps dropping. Studies show that 84% of the time, it takes less than a day to breach security. One of the reasons is because these underground networks are good at collaborating and sharing information about what's working. On the other hand, victims are very slow to discuss matters even internally because of fear for media leaks, and they rarely collaborate with others in the industry. After the attack has been launched and the lockdown has begun, the FBI reportedly has said there's nothing that they can do. That's why education is the key to protection, and the industry is turning to cybersecurity partners like Threat Advice for insights, guidance, and comprehensive plans tailored specifically to the regulatory environment and operational requirements of the banking business. The threat advice formula for protecting high-risk industries involves three components. The first component is an advanced educational plan that assures consistent and frequent training with the employees and the management. Now that training is coupled with regular testing to create an up-to-date and fully documented risk assessment. The second component implements a program of recurring simulated attacks to constantly evaluate real-world exposure points that require the greatest supervision inside the business. And the third component involves supplemental insurance programs to augment traditional coverage that may not include all aspects of electronic security breaches. Clearly, certain types of industries have greater exposure and higher risk of cybersecurity attacks than others. That includes banking, healthcare, utilities, and accounting, just to name a few. That's why Threat Advice has specifically designed comprehensive plans for the highest risk industries. Don't wait until it's too late. Contact Threat Advice to learn how they can help you protect your operations, your revenues, and your reputation.